Welcome to the lesson on bag mask ventilation. In this video, we'll discuss us how to perform bag mask ventilation. When performed appropriately, bag mask ventilation is an important intervention in PALS. Proper use of this device requires proper fit. That is, the child or the infant's mouth and nose should be covered tightly, but not the eyes. When possible, use a clear mask since it allows you to see the color of the person's lips and the presence of condensation in the mask indicating exhalation. The two most common types of masks are self-inflating and flow-inflating. While a self-inflating bag mask should be the first choice in resuscitations, you should not use it in children or infants who are breathing spontaneously. Flow-inflating bag masks, however, require more training and experience to operate properly as you must simultaneously manage gas flow, suitable mask seal, individual's neck position, and proper tidal volume. The minimum size bag should be 450 milliliters for infants and young and or small children. Older children require a 1000 milliliter volume bag. Proper ventilation is of the utmost importance as insufficient ventilation leads to respiratory acidosis. The first step of bag mask ventilation is proper positioning. In the absence of neck injury, tilt the forehead back and lift the chin. Next, ensure a tight seal. Use the EC clamp, which is the letters E and C formed by the fingers and thumb over the mask. Then, ventilate by squeezing the bag for over one second until the chest rises. Do not overventilate. This concludes our lesson on bag mask ventilation. Next, we'll review endotracheal intubation.